Hey guys, my name is Harish. I am a second year student at Bitspilani Goa campus. And uh, yeah, I have a freelancing newsletter wherein I post really good tips about freelancing and stuff. So do check it out. Uh, now, today I'm going to talk about my experience with entrance exams in India. Now, in my 12th grade, I gave TOEFL, SAT, SAT subject tests, ACT, uh, VITEEEE, -E -E -E, some exam. Uh, then I gave uh, J mains, J advanced, PITSAT. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I gave a lot of exams uh, because I was applying abroad and I was applying to uh, Indian colleges at the same time. I had to give a lot of exams. Uh, I'll just be telling you a bit about each one of these exams and how my experience was with them so that if you are planning to give one of them, then you might get some insights. I'm not some IITJ topper. So if you are someone looking for those kind of videos, then go to Allen or an Academy's channel. You'll find a lot of them. I'm just going to talk about all entrance exams in general uh, so you might get a brief understanding uh, before applying. Uh, TOEFL uh, was the first exam that I gave uh, and TOEFL is pretty simple. If you go to an English medium school then acing TOEFL should be a piece of cake for you. Uh, I got 116 out of 120 in TOEFL. Uh, it was very easy. Uh, like the first part involved reading a paragraph, like reading an essay, and the second uh, part of it involved listening. There's a speaking session also. Oh, by the way, one thing about TOEFL, it's a mistake that I did. If you go to an English medium school, then don't give TOEFL, it's not required if you're applying abroad. Only if you go to a Hindi medium college or in the Hindi medium school, then you might give TOEFL. How, how did I prepare for it? I had two books, like TOEFL has official books. Uh, link in the description, you can refer to that. The second exam that I gave was SAT. SAT is a very tense exam. It's like four and a half an hour and then there's a lot of pressure on you because you have to like continuously, you know, read paragraphs, read different essays. And uh, I, I also took the essay part. So I had to write an essay at the end. So it was pretty stressful. Uh, since I bombed SAT, in my opinion, uh, I had to give ACT also. ACT was comparatively simpler. It had uh, ACT has easier English, but the math section is a bit tougher as compared to SAT. SAT math is a piece of cake. If you know sixth and seventh grade math, uh, then you can obviously give SAT. It's so easy, guys. Uh, and ACT math is also easy, but it's very very long. So the time duration given to you is super short. And if you do, if you aren't fast enough, then you know completing SAT or the ACT would be a bit tough for you. Um, the next exam that I gave was SAT subject test. So SAT subject test is like a specialization. Uh, I had to, I gave physics, chemistry and math. Uh, it was pretty simple. Uh, these are like basic, very, very basic J mains questions. Uh, I, I had to give these exams because I was applying to top Ivy League colleges, which required me to, you know, give these exams. Uh, the next exam that I gave uh, was J mains. J mains was crazy, man. Because, uh, uh, see, to be honest, I did not prepare a lot for JE. Uh, I was very focused on SAT, SAT subject tests. But as I told you, I got rejected from each one of these universities that I applied to abroad. Harvard, MIT, all of them rejected me. And then uh, the only option left was, you know, these few Indian exams. So I gave JE mains. On the day of the exam, like right bef like two, three hours before the exam, I vomited. Um, I was feeling very ill and it was, um, I was under the weather on that particular day. Uh, so I, I did not do really well in my JE mains. My rank was around 40,000 something and I scored like 100, 120 out of 360. So terrible marks. Uh, I think it's 95 percentile or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, that was a very bad day for me. Uh, fortunately, I qualified for JE advanced, which itself was a big deal. Uh, then I gave JE advanced. Uh, I think I scored, I'm not sure about the score, but my rank was around 20,000. So I did get qualified in JE mains. I did like pass J advanced. So that itself was a big, big deal for me. And I was quite happy. I also gave BitSat, ended up scoring 300 out of 316 BitSat. Uh, I got electronics and instrumentation in Bitscoa campus. I also applied uh, through ISA, which is the international application process. And over there, I got electronics and communications in Bitscoa. Then I also gave an exam, which is called VITEEEEEEEE. -E 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 -E. uh, it's a very shady exam, to be honest, because they don't reveal your marks. Later on, I also got an email from VIT that said, hey, we have few seats left. You can click on this link if you want to apply. So yeah, these were the exams that I gave. I, I almost gave all the uh, international and national exams possible. In my 10th grade, I scored 96.6%. In my 12th grade, I scored 
six percent. So yeah, I did really well in boards because ISC is very very easy. You can just mug up things and score really well. But I bombed all these entrance exams. My scores weren't that great. But still, I am happy with it because I did not over stress myself. I did not over pressurize myself. All right, now let me share some lessons, uh, mistakes that I made during my preparation. A is consistency and planning. Uh, you gotta study every day, guys. Like I started taking JE mains and bits seriously in January. <laughs> that was pretty late because uh, I was, you know, applying abroad and stuff. So I thought it will be very easy. Uh, so yeah, if I was, if I had to go back in time, I would have studied consistently for both international exams and national exams. Uh, and that's the only way of going forward. So be consistent. Even if you study just two hours a day, it's totally fine. Just study. Uh, don't study 24 hours before the exam. That's a really bad choice. This is something that I've learned in college as well. It, be Just be consistent. Study every day or, you know, on alternate days. That really helps. Uh, the second important lesson is planning. Uh, I could have given ACT again, I could have given SAT again and scored way better. That's my experience with entrance exams guys. I'm so happy that I'm done with that thing because to be honest, like entrance exams, I just disapprove of them. They aren't a good way of measuring a student's potential, but no choice left. Still, I mean, uh, I'm really happy that these exams are over and I hope even your exams get over really soon because college is way more fun than those two years of really stressful life or whatever. So yeah, uh, you guys can come to college and do amazing stuff. So just do well in these exams and get done with it because there's a whole new world out there once you get done with these exams. Wishing you all the best and uh, subscribe to my freelancing newsletter wherein I tell you how the other side of the world looks like. Uh, maybe you guys like it. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care and ta-ta.